What is copyright? Before you do your water cycle reading activity, I thought I would take a moment to introduce you to copyright. Maybe you've heard this word before, or maybe it's new to you. But in your next assignment, I'm going to ask you to find images on the web to illustrate the information you are reading about and taking notes on. I want you to be aware of what's involved when you use something that someone else has created. Let's get started. So what is copyright? Copyright refers to the laws that protect the people who create things from the people who would steal their work and pass it off as their own. Things like plays, music, books, articles, dances, this prezi, speeches, animations, photographs, or anything someone creates. A little history. The U.S. Constitution says that original work should be protected for a short period of time, up to 120 years. That's not short, but it's not forever. The laws are there to protect the creator, but they are also there to promote creativity and the making of new things for the good of humanity. So what? Why do you need to know this? Someday, you will create something. And you will want others to see it and get ideas from it but you won't want them to claim that they created it. Copyright protects you and me while still allowing others to be inspired by your work. So can't I use anything? Sure you can, within limits and with attribution, which means you need to cite your sources. There are some rules about what is fair to use. If you're using something someone else created, Use it for educational purposes. Make sure that you try to transform the original work into something new. Don't use too much of that person's original work. And always give credit to the original author, which again means citing your sources. What does CC mean? CC stands for Creative Commons. This is a website you'll use to find images for your next assignment. The creators of these images have allowed other people to use them. Take a look at this video and see what it's all about. When you share your creativity, you're enabling people anywhere to use it, learn from it, and be inspired by it. Take the teacher who shapes young minds with work and wisdom from around the globe, and the artist who builds beauty out of bits and pieces she finds online, and the writer whose stories use ideas and images crafted by people you've never even met. These people know that when you share your creative wealth, you can accomplish great things. They and millions of other people all around the planet are working together to build a richer, better, more vibrant culture using Creative Commons. To understand Creative Commons, you need to know a little bit about how copyright works. Did you know that when you create something, anything, from a photograph, to a song, to a drawing, to a film, to a story, you automatically own an all rights reserved copyright to that creativity? It's true. Copyright protects your creativity against uses you don't consent to. But sometimes full copyright is too restrictive. What about when you want all those millions and millions of people out there to use your work without the hassle of coming to you for permission? What if you want your work to be freely shared, reused, and built upon by the rest of the world? Luckily, there's an answer. Creative Commons. We provide free copyright licenses you can use to tell people exactly which parts of your copyright you're happy to give to the public. It's easy. It only takes a minute and it's totally free. Just come to our website and answer a few quick questions like, will you allow commercial uses of your work? And will you allow your work to be modified? Based on your answers, we'll give you a license that clearly communicates what people can and can't do with your creativity. You don't give up your copyright. You refine it so it works better for you. Welcome to a new world where collaboration rules. It didn't even exist just a few years ago, but now there are millions and millions of songs, pictures, videos, and written works available to share, reuse, and remix, all for free. Want to work together? Then join the Commons, Creative Commons.
So that's what Creative Commons is all about. In just a minute, I'll show you what it looks like when someone has given other people permission to use their information or their photographs or their music through a Creative Commons license. Hopefully this makes you more aware of why it's important to know about copyright laws. Now let me show you what to do when you want to use something that someone else has created. Your water cycle reading activity asks you to read your textbook, take notes on what you read, and find an image online to illustrate your notes. Let's go to that now. After you've done the first part of the assignment, click on this link to take you to Creative Commons. This takes you directly to the Creative Commons search feature. You can search for images, photographs, movies, music, and all other media from this location. Notice how the different things that you're given as options have a little disclaimer at the bottom about what kind of thing you would be able to find in that, um, in that area. We're going to use Google Images because I think you'll have the best luck or the best success with finding things that you need for this assignment under Google Images. Then, after you've chosen uh, where you want to search, then you enter your keyword here where it says enter your search query. I'm going to enter evaporation because that's one of the things that you need to find an image for. Once you press enter, it will take you to things that match that on Google Images. Now, before you just pick an image and put it in, into your assignment, check to make sure that your safe search is on and check to make sure that you have the labeled for reuse with modification clicked here. And then you have a variety of images to search from to help illustrate your work. I'm going to, going to choose this image of evaporation. When you click on the image, it opens up, gives you a bigger picture of the image. It also gives you some information about that image, like the author. Uh, what I suggest you do is go to visit page. Visit page will take you to the image and if you scroll down, sorry, if you go, click on the Some Rights Reserved link, that will show you exactly what license that this individual is using from Creative Commons. It tells you what you are free to do and what you must do in order to use their work. This says for this image, we are free to share it, we can copy it, we can redistribute it in any medium or format, we can adapt it, which means you can transform this. You could crop the image if you needed to. What the conditions are for using this image are you must give appropriate credit. You need to provide a link to the image um, or a link to the license and indicate if any changes were made. And always make sure that you list the author's name as well. So if this were the image I wanted to use, let's back up to that image. right click, choose copy image, then you can open up your questions for your water cycle reading activity. You should already have these open. And in the area where it says pictures, find a picture from Creative Commons to illustrate your notes. I chose a picture and image for evaporation right click again, say paste, and you may have to adapt the image a little bit as in shrink it down. If you click on it, it will allow you to shrink that image into something that fits better. Underneath, make sure you list the author. and a link to uh, that author's page. And again, you can get back to that link by clicking on the image. Copy and paste the link into your assignment. 
and that's all you need to do. So you'll find an image for each of these and then you will put that into your submission box for your Blackboard activity.